How's it going, everyone? I just wanted to do a beginner's guide on the Honda lawnmower, if you have one or are interested in buying one. Uh, first thing that's good to have is your owner's manual. You can actually find these online. There's even surface manual, service manuals sometimes, too, online that you can get. Um, another thing is with the gas, every time you fill up, you'll see this new one. It's a new style. Has the big gas tank. Um, every time I fill up at the gas station, I use the Startron. You guys can use whatever you feel like it, but I fill it up like halfway, and then I put, um, this tells you directions on how much you want to put in it, and then I just kind of swish it around. So it's basically new for months, and I use that. I've never had issues with a carburetor. Um, that's a great thing with these machines. Uh, this is the new GCV 200 too. But anyways, yeah, usually <clears throat> mowers I've had really good luck with, especially Hondas. Uh, my other one was an HRR 216 my parents I gave. Um, with Hondas, you'll notice too that you have a fuel shutoff. You got a picture here. This means it's on. When it's right with the line, this means it's off. Um, that's great to have because at the end of the season, I usually just run it and then I'll just turn it off and let it die with the Startron. I'll put extra Startron in it and just let it die with the fuel inside, but like a full tank. And then it's good for the next season. That's how I do it. Or you can run it dry completely um, without gas in it if you want but some people say the lines break or get junked up before operation you want to always check the um the dipstick in the owner's manual it says the, the uh, dipstick but you want it at least at the um bottom of the line right there or the top of the line um you can see the image there it usually shows it on the uh, mower i clean it after every use too I'm just paranoid with that stuff. Um, I just garden hose it and I dry it off with the, I got my steel BG56 uh, leaf blower. So I use that a lot of the times. There's actually a schedule manual too on this. And it says after five hours of use, you want to um, completely change the oil engine, which I did. And uh, it was black. It had some kind of fiber in it and stuff. Anyways, you want to change these tire or the wheels, the height. Um, I keep it three, three and a half. I got Kentucky bluegrass, so that's been good. I keep it dry. That's another thing in the shed. You don't want to leave it outside in the rain. Um, issues will uh, happen with that and mice too and stuff like that. But I keep mothballs and stuff. Keep them, <coughs> keep them away. The the rodents, you know. But another thing to check is um, after some use is the fuel filter. They got two tabs here. It just pops and you can look if you're in dusty climate or whatnot. Um, spark plugs right here too. You just take this off, do the spark plug. Um, one issue that a lot of people have too is when you tip this over, if you want to change the blades or um, even clean it like I did, you want the fuel shut off off like this and you want to tip it to the right always to the right as long as the air filters up um, you don't want the muffler I mean the uh, you will always want it up the air filter because if you tip it to the opposite side all the fuel is gonna go into the air filter and it won't run right I've had that happen before and I had to take off the air filter and start it without it and buy a new air filter so that's a pain um this is rear wheel drive i think most hondas are rear wheel drive too it's hydrostatic too so it was kind of an upgrade uh with this one you have to put it in fast to start it put the fuel on and then pull usually pulls one two pulls um continuously i always get hondas though they're the best uh resale price if you ever have to sell it and uh they're just all around the best you can get the engines are like bulletproof in my opinion just like my snowblower 
but yeah it has this too um if you get the cheaper model it only has bag or mulch but this you can go in between which is kind of cool um the plastic deck i haven't had issues with yet and everything else has been pretty well decent on my other mower i should have brought the other mower but the wheels every season it would just go bald this hasn't been a problem yet um i actually lubed it up too with the red and tacky i took the wheels off put some red and tacky on the shafts and it's been working good um there's no gears here or here but there's gears on the back of those and the pinions actually went on my hrr 216 so that's another thing to look for with these mowers I like to try to fix things myself rather than bring them in. Um, but yeah, so these have been pretty good. Um, this has the weird, let's see, you got the uh, blade engage with the yellow. They call it a color market. And then you got the drive engage. So this drives it and the wheels spin, but you can go it's kind of cool because you can go on the move with the gears so you go very slow to fast um so it works pretty well but yeah i prefer the startron though that's what i've been using on my gas equipment same with my pressure washer the karcher it's got the honda engine this honda engine is a beast it'll go through like tall grass like nothing um but yeah the best thing to do is though read your owner's manual Check everything in there. It tells you schedule everything. Um, the exact spark plug that's needed. Uh, when to change the spark plug. These wheels actually have bearings in them. The more expensive ones. So it spins pretty good. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I just like to clean it. You can see how clean it is. I clean it out after every use. Um, I just don't like to have a lot of, you know, bag. And I keep it, like, in between. <clears throat> bag and mulch. Just so it's in between. But you just got to be careful with the fuel. Make sure there's um, some kind of stabilizer in it. Just because that, that usually goes bad when you have issues with these mowers, the gas. A lot of people are going to the electric, but I don't, I don't trust them. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and uh, enjoy your Honda mower.